morning everybody. Today we're finishing up our 27 ways to quickly build client rapport. Good morning everyone. Josh Ezell, Breakthrough Real Estate and Property Management. Hope you're having a fantastic week. For about a week now, we've been working on this list of 27 ways to quickly build client rapport. And it has been incredible. I hope you've taken, taken away as much as I have. Um, so many of these are very basic and obvious, yet so hard to apply, and others have just been unique, simple twists that we can apply instantly. I love this list. Okay, so let's jump right in and finish it up. Number 22 is let, let your people see the feedback, okay? This is one of the scariest things in the world if you're in charge or if you're a salesman in and of yourself to ask for feedback, but it is the most powerful thing you can do. Honest feedback allows for honest improvement. Plain and simple. Some people are not nice. There's no good way of getting around it. But most people will give you sincere feedback. And if you're open to it, you can improve and become great. Heck, you can go from great to even better, right? Okay, so beware of inappropriate jokes. Um, enough said. <laughs> Don't rush. To each their own, the client is in charge. Some clients are quick and easy. Some clients need a lot of hand-holding, help, and care. This is what we're here for. Do it with a good attitude, do it with a happy heart, and whatever your client's pace, the ultimate goal is to have a happy client at the end of the day, and a happy client will often give you raving reviews and therefore referrals. That is what we're here for. And in real estate, it does boil down to fiduciary duty. Not necessarily saying that rushing people is a breach of fiduciary duty, but us being there for our clients the way our clients need us to be there for them. That's the fiduciary duty. Number 25, learn to unhook after tough calls and clients. Today is a prime example. My phone rang at 6.45 this morning and I had three back-to-back -back calls that were just unhappy and un oh just not good right so finished those up got late to the office because of those three phone calls and immediately got slapped by three more fires that I had to put out was not ideal went to another meeting boom got hit by another something so this afternoon rather than trying to push through doing a bunch of other things I decided to come out do some of my recording take a break and do something I really enjoy doing to re to relax, recover, and I'll, I'll, I'll head back into the office in just a little bit. Don't let a bad call, a bad morning affect your whole day. Learn to unhook, relax, and take a step back. Only two left, number 26, use feel, felt, found. All right, this is such a wonderful tool to use. It's one of, actually in my opinion, it's one of the greatest tools in dealing with customers, clients, and people in general. I completely understand how you feel. So many of our other clients have felt that same way. Now what we found is blank, right? Using feel felt found. It puts you right there with them, longs you on side. They're not feeling alone. They're not feeling alienated. And once you're, once you're alongside, then you could come in with the solution. And you don't even necessarily have to agree with them. What we found is that people who have made this choice have learned to appreciate it. They have felt the rewards, and while scary up front, they have felt the rewards at the end. Whatever it might be, feel, felt, found. I completely understand how you feel. So many people have felt that same way. I felt that same way. Whatever it might be. What we found is blank. Okay, feel felt found. One of the greatest tools ever. Now, last but not least, try standing up during your calls. Now, this one comes back to realtors. We all know we're supposed to be making calls, okay? Frankly, most of us should be making many calls per day. Now, to make the most impact, no matter what customer relations you're in, we all should be making phone calls. So when you're on your phone call, try standing up, have good posture, put your shoulders back, Put a smile on your face and then make your calls. Your tone, your energy, your, your just everything, your intonation is gonna come across 
perfectly. And it's gonna be a wonderful day on the phone and you're gonna be in a better mood for doing it and you're gonna have the wins. It's gonna make you love making phone calls and the world will be a better place. <laughs> Stand up, put a smile on your face and your phone calls will go so much better. All right, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, comment below. Please share your tips for building rapport. There are so many tips and tricks and I might not know what works for you and I want to try it. And so please share below. Thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you tomorrow.